Hi guys, it's yet another video this week, but this time I'm a little anxious, I'm a little sad, and I'm super excited, all three emotions in one, because I'm going to be leaving the kids behind for two whole weeks with the grandparents, uh, so, <laughs> so it is a very mixed feeling, of course I'm a little nervous, but if you are planning to do that, then we have just the kind of preps that you need to do. Come on, Akshata. We have to go to school. Tip number one, make sure that you're always traveling when the kids are at school and school is on. Tip number two, make sure that you don't make your holidays sound like too fancy and exciting. Akshu, Mama's got to go out of town for some days for work, okay? Tip number three, ask for help, help and more help. So make sure that you get the grandparents, aunts, uncles, friends, everybody to chip in. Tip number four, make yourself extremely accessible and let them know that you're just a phone call away or just a FaceTime away. Dad, take this photo and send it to mom. It's WhatsApp to mama. Uh, so that way they'll always feel like you're not alienating them. Tip number five is to make sure that something that they're very used to doing, you don't break that routine. For so example, my girls are very useful, especially the younger one. She never feeds without me or she does not like to sleep without me. So what I have done is recorded a couple of stories that I always read to her during meal times and bedtime. So I've recorded that on the iPad so she can play that back and feel like, okay, mommy's with her. Tip number six is always give them something to look forward to. Akshita, you can take this for your Corbett holiday. By the time Mama comes back from work, you have to finish packing everything, okay, for your holiday? Yes? Okay. Tip number seven is the most important thing is don't forget to create a WhatsApp group of all the people who are going to be taking care of from the aunts, uncles, nieces and grandparents and put in all the important contacts in terms of bus pickups and classes and and play dates and uh, you know birthday party schedules because that's going to be very very key and the numbers are very handy so there is no like I don't have the list kind of moment tip number eight uh, make sure that you plan really well so we've got, we've got our weekly menu on with breakfast, school lunch, what they're supposed to take in their snack box, their evening juice and uh, dinner all sorted out. And of course we've kept some bits of it empty to ensure that they can fill in whatever else that they want. So here's our little secret star sheet which I'm going to give to both the girls and I'm going to give them a pack of stickers. Akshu, this is going to be your sticker sheet, okay? Every day after you finish all these activities, then you're supposed to stick a sticker and you're going to watch if Anya Didi is also sticking her stars, okay? And whoever of course gets the maximum amount of stickers for accomplishing each of the tasks is the one who's going to get more gifts. Tip number nine, always get them back something really special. And tip number ten, um, which is if you think you can't do it, uh, think again because I'm sure you can do it. You, we all, as parents and especially moms, we always feel like we're indispensable but that's not the whole truth. I mean they can survive without us and they can do actually very well without us. They don't miss us as much as we do. Uh, and yeah, if you love our videos, don't forget to watch, subscribe and share. In the comments below, have you managed to go on your first trip without the kids and how chaotic it was.